Welcome to the Jamestown Wastewater Treatment Plant. The Jamestown Wastewater Treatment Plant accepts flow from the city of Jamestown and the village of Falconer. Flow comes down to the plant through 48 inch sewer mains that are shown here. The first treatment stage is bar screens. Bar screens remove heavy solids from the wastewater, items that might block piping going down the line. These are some examples of things that we've received over the years. As you can see, there's a lot of children's toys, uh, quite a few dentures, and some other items that we get out of the, out of the flow. The next treatment stage is grit removal. This removes heavy insolubles from the wastewater. This would be fine stones, rocks, things like that, that might scour and damage pumps going down the line. These are primary sludge pumps. They remove sludge from the primary settling tanks, and these were just installed in 2019. These are the primary settling tanks here. Uh, they re remove settable solids and floating solids. Uh, the, the settable solids settle to the bottom of the tank, are pumped out, and eventually go to our digester. Floatable solids, commonly known as grease, are skimmed off the tops of the tanks and go into bins that eventually are trucked to the Chautauqua County landfill. The trickling filters, which you see here, are a biological process where microorganisms that, have, that are embedded in the plastic media below feed off the waste from the wastewater that's sprayed over the top of them. Uh, they eventually are settled out in the secondary settling tanks, which you see here. These tanks operate in the very similar manner to the primary settling tanks where settable solids settle to the bottom and are removed and eventually go to the digester. Molith pumps pick up the flow and elevation. We pump sludge upstairs to the belt press pumps from the digesters. Uh, we had polymer, which removes, separates water from the solids. Um, once it goes through a series of serpentine belts, the water is squeezed out and drained out. The finished solid product that we have goes on a conveyor belt, which you see right here. And this is ultimately dumped in a dump truck below grade and the dump truck takes the solids to the Chautauqua County landfill for ultimate disposal. The next treatment stage is final clarifiers. Final clarifiers are also settling tanks that settle out solids that are still in the wastewater. The solids are pumped to the digester where with other solids that have been pumped there are heated and converted and methane gas is formed. This is an example of one of the final clarifiers, which is currently down for annual maintenance. The next treatment stage would be the sand filters. These are a series of four beds that are filled with sand. As the flow goes through, the flow passes through the sand, and the sand then captures any fine solids left in the wastewater. We also add chlorine at this stage, treatment stage to disinfect. The flow then comes to the chlorine contact tanks, where it gives more time for the chlorine to react in the wastewater and disinfect. This is, this is an example of the tank that's being taken down for annual maintenance, and this is the tank when it is full. Uh, the final treated flow goes through here, this channel and into the Castaic Creek. We make our own chlorine here at the Jamestown Wastewater Treatment Plant. We use softened water and rock salt and through electrolysis, we make sodium hypochlorite, which you see in these tanks here, and hydrogen gas, which is, which is exhausted out to the atmosphere. This chlorine is less, one, less than 1% 1 concentration and is used for disinfection at the wastewater treatment plant. As I said earlier, the final treated wastewater is discharged into Casadega Creek. Between 90-95% of all solids have been removed from the flow at this point. 
I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Jamestown Wastewater Treatment Plant.